Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about the steel MS261C chainsaw and the MS291 chainsaw. Very comparable saws as far as size, both run a 20 inch bar and chain, and as far as body, but totally different in how they work and some of the features and benefits. So the MS261C is Steel's Pro Series saw, and the MS291 is Steel's farm and ranch sort of saw. So they would call this saw would be great for the average firewood cutter who's, who's burning five or 10 cords of wood a year, maybe has 10 acres and has a tree blow down here and there. So MS291, what does this have that uh, really makes it stand out from the competition, that makes it the right saw for you? And then we'll look at stepping up to the 261 and see the features and benefits that that adds. So really quickly, something that I like I get a little complaints on them, but I honestly see less problems with these than I do others, are the fuel and oil caps. It's just a quick flip up, half turn, pull out and go. That's both on the fuel and the oil. And I'm sorry, I do hear some people who don't like them. I think they work really well. Okay, so the quick on that, the steel's master control lever, that's this guy right here on the side. I squeeze the trigger, I push all the way down, that's the choke. So this is where I'm gonna pull the rope generally two or three times and this machine's gonna fire, it's gonna pop. It ain't gonna start, but it's gonna give you a little, a little burp. Now I'm gonna manually move this up one notch. As soon as I hear that pop, this is the start position. This is where it's gonna take off when I pull the rope and it's gonna be at a high speed and I hit the trigger and it returns to idle. And then all the way up is off. So what does that mean, master control lever? Well, the way that Steel has set it up, it's right in line with my thumb. So I don't have to take my hand off of the handle to do anything, so it's just all in line. Chain tensioning. Steel's chain tensioning is right through the side here between the bar nuts, okay? As we know, if you ran a chainsaw, or if you haven't ran a chainsaw, guys, chains stretch. And as that stretches, not only does it wear your chain out, it also increases the risk of this chain jumping off the bar and coming back and potentially doing some damage. So you need to make sure you tension the chain. Again, the steel tensioner is right through this side slot right here between the bar nuts. Okay, so I like that about the steel chainsaws. I also like this feature right here. When we get in, let's get in a little closer. You see this chain sitting on the sprocket? It's called an outboard sprocket, which allows me to easily install the chain on the sprocket. I'm not fighting behind the clutch like you would on a lot of products. And then the air filtration system steel uses what's called the air injection. Maybe not the right word, I'm gonna use the word air injection, but the air filtration system, all of the burning air comes over the flywheel, which is on this side. Flywheel spinning, the heavy stuff is thrown out. Think of a uh, merry-go-round, right? If you're on a merry-go-round and uh, it's going faster, you're getting pushed towards the outside of it, so the heavy stuff is being pushed out and the clean air is being funneled up into the air filter. So that's the MS291, some of the features, benefits. This is gonna be about a three and a three quarter horse, a 3.74 horsepower, I believe, saw. Weighs just over 12 pounds. Now let's step up to its professional brother here, the MS261C. This, this saw is sweet, guys. Let me tell you about this saw. So first of all, we drop about two pounds in weight, and you're gonna feel that. After a day of cutting wood, or even a half an hour of cutting wood, you're gonna feel that reduction in weight. Same caps, okay? Look at the starter here real quick. They have what's called their elasto start, which is kind of a little spring to this starter handle, which makes it for a smoother pull when you pull the rope. They also add a compression release. So when I go to start this machine, I'm gonna push in on this compression release. It's going to reduce the effort to pull the rope. Now I need to pull faster than that to start this saw, but it's much less jerky on my joints as they get older. Remember I talked about chain tensioning? Yes, I need to tension the chain on the MS261 as well as I do on the MS291. But something cool about the MS261, this bar nut is captive. You wouldn't believe how many bar nuts I sell over the course of the year. I lost it in the woods. I was out cutting, I hadn't tightened it enough, and it's gone, so I'm missing a bar nut. Not a good idea to run without one of those. 
With the MS-261, it's captive. I can't lose this thing. It's part of the cover. Simple, spin it back in, tighten it up and go. Easy access air filtration. I just have a little quarter turn on these top three screws. One, two, three, to get to the air filter, to get to the spark plug. This is where I'm starting to really like this saw, guys, is the master control lever. The whole start thing has changed. I squeeze the trigger. I put it down to start. This is where the saw is always going to start. I'm going to pull the rope two or three times. It's going to be running. I don't have to worry about missing that burp or that little pop that it gave over here and then continuing to pull and flood the sucker out. I just put it on start. I pull the rope. It's going to start, hit the trigger, returns to idle, and I'm ready to go to work. I'm done. I want to move a log. I want to refuel. I shut it off, it returns to run. Gets rid of that sort of pulling, pulling, pulling without it being on run. So weight, power, right? This was about three and three quarter horse. This goes up to a four horse. So I'm gaining a quarter horse. That's a big jump in power. So I think it's worth jumping up to this MS-261, saving me two pounds of weight, giving me your features and benefits and giving me more power. Check out the full line of steel chainsaws ranging from the MS-170 all the way up to the MS-661 at Carl's Mower and Saw today.